Hi, Vampress Kiss here. And Angel. And we're in Holbrook, Arizona today. We, uh, your itches. We are at the infamous Bucket of Blood Street. Bucket of Blood! We came, we came here just to get a picture of this sign, if you can <laughs> believe that. We, we are weird people. But, um, Jamie's going to help us with this. She's going to give a little bit of history of why it's called the Bucket of Blood. Okay. Around the 1880s, the town of Holbrook, Arizona was a wretched hive of scum and villainy where outlaws and cowboys could indulge their drinking, gambling, whoring, and general brackishness. Needless to say, gunfights were frequent and casual. Amidst this atmosphere, Terrell's Cottage Saloon was able to distinguish itself as particularly violent. It was in this grim watering hole in 1886 that a gunfight took place that ended in so much death that the floors were said to be slick with a bucket of blood. According to one version of events, the shootout occurred between two rival groups of cowboys, one of which accusing the other of horse thieving. The other extant version of events describes the classic Wild West scene of a poker game gone wrong. Whichever is the case, a number of rootin' tootin' cowpokes were murdered. Just a year later, a tough as nails sheriff rolled into Holbrook to bring some justice to the town, but the bar had already changed its name to the Bucket of Blood Saloon. The bar remained well into the 20th century, becoming a touristy hotspot on Route 66. However, the road trip culture that was keeping the bar alive eventually died out and the saloon eventually closed its door. However, while the bloody bar is gone, on which it stood still bears its morbid name, ensuring that the memory of the Wild West will not die, will not die out like so many gunfighters. Okay, thank you, Jamie. <laughs> that was a very good story. That was a very good story. Okay, so we're going to walk down here. It appears that this building here on my right is actually, well, they call, the, the door says Bucket of Blood Saloon. I don't know if it's the original. I I don't think it is. I think they tore it down, but that's okay. For, you can definitely tell that the building is older looking. All, all, all these, well, actually, I'll take you all the way to the end of the road here. We've got a big puddle here. I don't want to jump. I don't want to jump and fall down like an idiot, so we're going to go this way. Actually, it looks like we're going to run into another puddle right down here. <laughs> but, um... um this is, uh, it's, they, each one of these, oh, you can't see them. No, no you can't see them because it's too close. But it's, uh, talks, it basically talks about it being a pioneer saloon and it tells about different things that happened here. And, um, Jamie, oh God, I'm gonna have to hang onto this tree so I don't fall in this water. Um, everything that Jamie basically read is basically what all these are talking about. Because, like, there's one um, that says about the Bucket of Blood Saloon. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe if you zoom in on it, you'll be able to see it. Anyway, um, we'll bring you down here to where the... Uh, where it says Bucket of Blood Saloon right on it. This is all cool. Okay. So this is probably gotcha. where it used to be. But so you can see at the top it says saloon. Like oh there. yeah, it does say saloon up there. I'm, I think I'm, yeah, I'm zoomed out as far as I can be zoomed out. Let me walk back further so you can see. Yeah, that is way cool. Um, Holbrook what? Holbrook, uh, I'm not sure. It's just been painted over a couple times. So hard to, yeah, these things are hard to read. Anyway, um, so I imagine this is where the saloon originally was. And then this is cool. This right here across the street is the old train depot. And you can see that this building here is, um, it, it's old. You know, it reminds me, 
it rem God, I think I'm gonna get all nostalgic now. It reminds me of um, a building that used to be not far from the back of my grandmother's house that was part of the railroad. And um, it wasn't as big as this, but it was, uh, it was made like this. And it uh, very much takes me right back to my grandma's house. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is the uh, train depot. I'll, uh, I'll come I'm not going to go too close to the tracks. I don't want to get into any sort of trouble. But I'll show you this side of it too. Angel, Angel get away from the tracks. You scared me. Well, so there's, I imagine they would probably board off the train right down here. And that's yeah. probably how they went in, is in that gate right there. Because um, hmm. it says, right above that door Holbrook I think I'm walking the tracks I shouldn't be doing that yeah it says Holbrook so I mad I don't know they probably took baggage out of those big those doors like that that's the saloon again across the street and then this here probably was a mercantile I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with this was a mercantile <laughs> because um, I have no real reason why I'm going with that other than it's just my gut feeling. But well, look, co means company usually, so. That's like true. This. Young T and company, I guess, but there's no end there, just Young T company. Um, this building is quite old. We already drove by it. And... Um, oh. The soul is a bit of shoes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Leave it there. Uh, <laughs> Maybe the shoe got tired. I'm sorry. That, that's the peanut gallery. Uh, yeah, there's like a wagon train. It's not a wagon train. A, uh, a buck, uh, like a buckboard up there. But I was going to bring you to the very back of this building. I was going to show you how this building is um, constructed. It's, uh, it's, um, put together with rocks that, you know, basically they make them look like bricks. And, um, I imagine that cement that's in between them now. I don't know if it would have been cement back when it was originally built. Because the town started in 1880. And like, there's an old house over there. Maybe the person that owned the mercantile lived there. But there's, um, I don't think that there's, I'm not sure what that symbol means. But here's the other side of this same building. And it basically just goes right on down to the end of the road. I'm not sure what that other building is. Is all Could probably more like it because it, it looks like there's a dock down there, so maybe it was another shipping place. Maybe what came in on the train came down here and it was shipped by uh buckboard or or by wagon to uh parts unknown. But that look at the workmanship in that building, that is just beautiful. See, I think it's gonna collapse. That's kind of strange. Up there in that window, there's bars. Could have been a jail cell. That's what I was just thinking. I wonder if it, it, yeah, like, it like like doubled as a jail, too. Yeah, like the bottom would be a store place or whatever. Maybe. Maybe. And the top floor is where you might, people you might, went to jail. You might be right about that. And yeah. there's, a, there's a really good shot of the uh, there's old train station. It's, you know, I really appreciate this kind of construction and um, Me too. workmanship. So this sounds like it was one hell of a town to live in. There's another old, old house. Um, That's nice. Yeah, it sounds like it was one hell of a place to live oh. back in the 1800s. You're gonna look. 1880s, I should say. Yep. That's what not, is, that's what not, did they that's do? not a train. Well, look at this. This wall is falling down here. So maybe this is the original building. 
It could be. You know, this could be the original building, Jamie, because look at how they've got those, you know, those holes on there holding that wall up. It could very well be the same build, the, the original building. Oh, it's still hold like the walls so they don't fall down. But, so. I think this is cool. That's mine. Did I tell the story why I wanted to come here? Mm, no. Okay. I, I had a, you know, when I see that there was a street named Bucket of Blood, this was why I wanted to come here and see it. When I was little, well, before my dad retired, he used to drink a lot. He was, he's what, I guess he was an alcoholic, basically. And he used to go to this place called Joe's Tavern. Later on, it was called Montana's, I think they changed the name to. But when it was Joe's, and my mom used to want to get a hold of my dad, and she couldn't get him to come home, she'd get so mad. And she'd say to me, he's over there at that damn bucket of blood again. <laughs> so when I see the David this, I said, oh my God, I have to go see this because this just like is a total tribute to that whole, you know, part of my life, you know, and, and just, you know, you know, being a kid, being, you know, I was, I was a very young kid. I was maybe six years old, very young, a good impression maybe mom. six, maybe Maybe about Angel's Age or maybe nine. nine. I don't know. It's a very vivid memory, though, because I would have never remembered it if I hadn't heard it enough. So, this is, uh, we're going to end this here. This is Bamford's Kiss. And Angel. And Baby. saying like, subscribe and share. Yep. Thank you. Bye. Bye.